Well, thank you everybody for joining us. Um, thanks for sharing um, a little bit of something about nonprofits. Great to get to know you. Today's webinar is the top 10 nonprofit AI powered website tools, trends for 2024. That was a mouthful. Um, I think you're gonna learn a little bit more as we go on. My name is Aretha Simons. I'm the webinar producer here at TechSoup. So glad to be here with you today. I'm just gonna show you on the next slide how you can engage. I know many of you are familiar with it. Somebody's already turned on the closed caption. If you have a question, please use the Q&A feature down at the bottom of your screen. Also, we're gonna email you this tomorrow because you know the holidays are coming up but you'll get this in your email with the video replay and the slides you need the caption hit the cc button at the bottom of your screen i'm just going to go to the next slide and show you something new that we have here at TechSoup. is called quad where you can do more good together i'm going to put a link in in the chat in just a moment you can learn more about quad and all the wonderful things we have come up here at TechSoup. but you're not here for me, you're here for our wonderful partners at TAP Network. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them introduce themselves. John and Tarek, welcome. I'll turn this over to you, have a great webinar. Awesome, thanks Aretha. Uh, yeah, so to introduce myself, my name is John. I am a project manager here at TAP Network. Uh, I've been working in the digital space for over 10 years now as a designer, developer, and project manager. Uh, at TAP, I primarily work on the back side of things, uh, making sure that projects run smoothly. And my co-host today is Tarek. He is a web developer and AI prompt engineer uh, over with TAP. Uh, he has been in the field for over six years, um, building websites and so much more. Uh, to give you guys a little bit of an intro on who we are, we're TAP. We're a team dedicated to empowering nonprofits in today's digital age. Um, we have a great collaboration with TechSoup Global, where we are able to offer discounted services to nonprofits like yourself. Uh, when it comes to uh, how we work, we have a holistic approach for both web design and marketing that is tailored solutions for nonprofits. Um, we're always trying to empower nonprofits with tools and knowledge in this digital landscape. And today we've got a couple AI tools that we think would be really great for you guys to check out. Um, so we've already done our intros. Uh, next, we'll discuss some AI tools. And then uh, at the end, we'll set aside some time for some QAs. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, with that, I will hand it over to our resident uh, chat GPT expert, Tarek. Uh, Tarek, go ahead and take it away. We're unable to hear you. Let's go. Oh, there we go. There, there you go. Yes, uh, I hope everyone can hear. Hello, beautiful people. This is Tarek again, and I hope you're having an amazing day. Today, we're going to talk about some uh, really amazing tools uh, that can empower your business, empower your nonprofit, uh, that can help you to stay up to date in 2024. So, you know which tool I'm going to start with? The king of AI universe is one and only Chat GPT. Okay. So before I start with ChatGPT, I, I have a question to everyone. I just wanted to know, like, we are about to finish the like, end of the 2023 and start 2024. I, I just want to know, how is anyone uh, never tried ChatGPT? Never tried ChatGPT ever? Wow. Okay, um, let me see. I already used ChatGPT. How many people are using ChatGPT for day-to-day -day activities? Amazing. How many people are using ChatGPT Pro version? I mean the paid version, GPT-4. The version three, Pro version. Uh, only the free, yes, free is enough for getting started. Those uh, who those who are not uh, get a chance like to start with ChatGPT, I'm trying to explain everything as much as easy possible so that you can get started with ChatGPT. And I'm gonna share some tricks and tips. Though this webinar is not about ChatGPT, so I can't actually talk about ChatGPT for a long time. But uh, if you ask me a tool to recommend you, I'll always recommend you to start with ChatGPT. 
there's tons of other LLM out there, but uh, I'll recommend you to start with ChatGPT. I'm going to share some tips and tricks, uh, just some basic one so that everyone can understand and everyone can try this out. Awesome. So let's get started. Um, if you know ChatGPT, ChatGPT is a LLM, large language model created by uh, OpenAI. So ChatGPT has a couple of versions like 3.5, 4. Uh, so 4 is uh, advanced version that you need to pay for 20 bucks per month. Uh, it also has some extra features, but if you want to just try out, then I'll recommend you to try out the free one, ChatGPT. Uh, the best way to get started is go to openai.com and just create an account. It's very simple, very simple to create an account and get started. And um, if you are in my webinar two months ago, I talked about ChatGPT in briefly. So I'll, re I'll recommend you to watch that to get some idea, understanding of how ChatGPT works. And I also have two ebooks. Uh, you can also uh, try this out, like if you need prompts, stuff like that. So I'm not waste time on ChatGPT uh, more. So I'll, I'm gonna I'll go to the next slide and show you some tips and tricks. So this is the same thing I talked about on the last webinar. So the thing here is like, uh, if you want to get best out of ChatGPT, you need to provide inform as much as information about you. I mean, the better ChatGPT know about you, the better result it can provide. So. Uh, in order to get the best out of it, uh, try to provide some context. Context means like uh, your organization overview, your program, your vision and mission, uh, your partnership, your, uh, if you have testimonial, also include the testimonial, uh, social media online presence, stuff like that. You create a complete bundle and then uh, give it to ChatGPT that I'm going to share you as an example uh, on next slide um, so that you can get an idea how it works. Then you are... Then once you give a context, then you can ask to ask ChatGPT to do the best you want. So uh, let me go to the next slide. Uh, it has a structure like a task, uh, context, stuff like that. Oh, let me see. So, um, free version works. Free version enough. I think uh, like um, if you want to upgrade to the paid version, I'll show you why you should upgrade and why you shouldn't. Let me go to the next slide. So here's an example. So this is from my ebook, the free one, uh, that uh, I talk about like um, how to write a uh, a copy, uh, extended sales copy for donation page. So same thing is like uh, we created a, a model uh, or fake nonprofit named UGN, uh, Urban Green Network, and we send information like to ChatGPT, like uh, telling ChatGPT to create a copy, uh, extend this as copy uh, for our organization, and I will provide a little bit of information. Don't worry, uh, I'm going to show you a practical example how I did that and how you can do better. Like a couple of things you you are you will not, never find on this slide because uh, some things you need to do it practically, you need to see practically how it works. And I'm going to share some tips and tricks as well. So the good thing here is like the prompts will work in version 4 or version 3.5 free or paid version so don't worry about this uh, then i uh, let me go to the next slide so as this webinar is talking about morally talking about the web content i mean 10 tools that um, ai powered website tools so then we are mainly focusing on creating web content using ai so how we can leverage ChatGPT to create some web content. This, uh, I'm going to show you on the next slide, and uh, this will be our main objective today. So there's a couple of uh, simple prompt, base prompt uh, I have on my left-hand side to show you like how we can use ChatGPT to get a result. So I just show you an example. On the left-hand side, we have a couple of prompt. Uh, don't worry, you'll, you'll get the slide, and you'll get this prompt as well. So don't worry about this. You just have to copy and go to ChatGPT and paste it on ChatGPT and replace your, uh, like you, if you see the third bracket, you need to replace uh, the third bracket information with your information, with your nonprofit information. Once you replace that, you are gonna uh, get the result, for, specific result for your nonprofit or let's say whatever you, you, you're going to achieve. One of the thing I found uh, most common issue when you, I work with clients is getting the content. It's not client problem because it's really hard to create content and provide it to the developer, designer, website creator. 
So to break the gaps, I'm going to show you how we can do that very easily. And uh, you don't have to do a lot of stuff, just a couple of steps, and you're going to love that. Let me go to the next slide. So before I show a practical example, I need to tell about a couple of uh, alternatives. So there's a couple of alternatives out there, like um, Bard, Claude, uh, someone from, I think, on chat talking about Claude. Yes, you're very smart. Claude is very a good tool. If you want to try this out, go ahead, try this out. But if you never try ChatGPT, try ChatGPT first, be expert, and then go to Claude, compare your results, and you're going to love that. These are the free version. There's a couple of pro tools out there as well, like um, Write Sonic. Let's say if you, uh, if you want to create a donation page, the problem you, you are going to have the first is not having the copy for the donation page, I mean the sales page, landing page. How we can overcome that? Uh, if you have, uh, if, if you can do through ChatGPT, like giving a prompt, or you can go to Write Sonic, and they have a specific um, uh, page created, like a prompt created for you, where you can go and put a little bit of information that it's gonna create a copy for your landing page. You just have to copy that and go to your any builder and paste it and create your landing page. And tools to be mentioned, Jasper. Jasper is among the one of the most reliable and really good tool out there when it comes to doing a uh, content marketing, content writing. So it's a paid one. If you still want to try, if you are doing uh, uh, if you want to go ahead with AI, I'll recommend you to go ahead with the Jasper. Try out Write Sonic if possible. So uh, let me go to the next slide. Mid Journey. Mid Journey is a tool to generate image. So if you are in my last webinar, I talk about Mid Journey. It has a little bit of learning curve, but not really tough. You just have to create an account to go there and uh, just do some prompting. Uh, if, I will recommend you to watch my last webinar. Here I talk about uh, Mid Journey in depth. And what Mid Journey does is it create text to image. Like you give text um, prompt and it's gonna reply you with images. Really amazing images. So if you never tried Mid Journey, I will recommend you to try. Mid Journey is a paid. Don't worry, I'm gonna talk about some free option as well. So AI tools like Mid Journey, there is uh, Leonardo AI and Dali 3. Dali 3 is an uh, open AI, I mean ChatGPT uh, tool that can generate images for you. So uh, on the next example, I'm going to talk about Dali 3 in depth. Uh, I, like I, I'm going to show you a complete example how we can use Dali 3 and ChatGPT combination to get result. So let me dive into the uh, chat, uh, let me dive into the real real life example. Okay, let me open it up. One minute. Why are you doing that? I hope everyone's. I'm, I'm. I was gonna um just just pause to ask you a quick question. Um, Kevin says, is it safe to input confidential information in ChatGPT in order to build a good prompt? Yes, don't worry about this. Everyone have to provide information or. Like ChatGPT is ne never gonna use the information to share with someone else, but on mid journey, you need to pick. Uh, let's say you have a you generated an image, and you don't want to make it public, like public and access. So you need to go for an upgraded plan, like the most expensive one, and then you'll get the, your private uh, territory. So why whatever image you generate, it it will not be available public. I mean, public can't see that. Uh, on ChatGPT. If you are talking about, uh, I don't know which kind of confidential information you are talking about. Like, uh, I will not recommend you to like like uh, provide really too much uh, confidential information. Like, you can talk about your company, you can talk about your um, company vision, mission, like something that you can share with uh, uh, AI. If you, if you want to share uh, information like, a, what I can say, credit card information, I will not recommend you to do this. Though GPT is safe, but I'll not recommend you to do this. Okay. Uh, don't worry, everyone. You can still use free version. Free version is enough. Uh, I just want to show you that uh, if you 
have like as most of the people are talking about they're using paid version they are using the chat gpt already so i want to show them how we can leverage the pro version how we can use pro version to get better result okay so here's an example this is my account if you see uh, my screen so i i what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna create a home page copy so what what prompt i provide here is like act like russell brunson from click funnels if you know russell brunson is uh, is the founder of click funnels the funnel guy so i told chat gpt to act like russell B brunson now write a persuasive yet effective home page copy but before he write that down i want to give uh, context you can try this out on free version as well uh, don't worry so chat gpt provided me absolutely then i provided uh, chat gpt in the context i mean information about my organization i can see uh, some background information uh, founder blah 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 this is fake information not um, real but i just want to create uh, to show you how it works so these are the information provided to chat gpt now what chat gpt does based on the information i provided chat gpt is going to create a copy web page copy for me what i do next here is like uh, i give the prompt that i have showed you on the slide i give the prompt and then chat gpt created another copy home page copy for me that i can used to create website used to um, i can use this copy on my home page so uh, as a web developer as a uh, someone who design or create website is really helpful for me it will also help clients to like let's say they don't have to spend uh, quite a bit of time to create content uh, they just have to provide a little bit of information to gpt and gpt is going to create copy so this is really helpful you don't have to worry about getting content so, so Here's an example uh, to how you can create copy with GPT-3. Now I'm going to show you some. Uh, I'm going I'm to give you a little bit of uh, tips and tricks. Now, if we so this version, uh, this part is for someone who have the paid version. Chat GPT paid, paid version comes with twenty bucks per month plan. It worth hundred percent. So if you can afford, I'll recommend you to go for that. If you don't, then use the free version. I'll show you some alternative as well for this uh, image and. Um, competitive analysis as well some alternative stick to the end of this webinar because and at the end of the webinar i'm going to share you the free tool so from this part we we, we start with the paid version i mean we, we are going to see the paid version power what i'm going to do let's say sometimes we don't have the content we sometimes we don't have the idea how uh, the copy will be so in that case what we can do um, we can tell chat gpt let's say i have five competitors I know five non-profit organizations, they are doing really good, uh, my competitors. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this five website link to ChatGPT and tell ChatGPT to analyze this website and see how they wrote their copy. Based on their structure, based on their writing tone, create a copy for us. That way, it will save tons of your time and create a really effective copy. Like what I did here, like I say, I'll send you links to some non-profit website. You can take a look at them for ideas to how to write content for website home pages. This is applicable for home page, about page, sales page, email, uh, social media marketing, anywhere, anywhere you want to use this, anywhere it will work. So I send the links. So the paid version has the web accessibility. I mean, web browsing feature that are not available in the uh, free version. So. As we, I have the paid version, I send the link to ChatGPT. Now ChatGPT is gonna visit this link and analyze the website. Now based based on what, like based on the example from YMCA Feeding American United Way, here's an extended highly effective homepage copy for the Urban Clinic Networks initiatives. So now it Derek. wrote a new copy, sorry. Oh, uh, so I just wanted to clarify just for my understanding. Um, so this, it will only be able to search the other websites with the paid version. Is that correct? Yes, this is okay. for the paid version. Got this it. Is for the paid version. Okay, uh, cool. Because the paid version only have the web accessibility, web browsing feature that are not available in the free version. I'm sorry for that, but don't worry. I'm going to show you some alternative as well, end of this webinar. Uh, so I have to go really fast. I'm sorry, because we have to cover a lot of things. 
So that's a copy created. Now, uh, what else we can do? What else we, we, we get the, we can see the power of chat GPT now. Now we have the copy ready. We need some images. ChatGPT on recent update, Dality integrated with ChatGPT right away from GPT-4. So now I said I now create four top quality stock images for homepage. So this is just a basic prompt. I just uh, put that to give you an idea. Uh, so I, I put that on ChatGPT. Now ChatGPT generated four uh, images. These are, may, you may don't like it, just to give an idea. Uh, it created four images as well on the same thread. Uh, if you have, if you learn a little bit of how to do better prompting, how to get, uh, use better prompting to get better results, you can use this prompt to generate a better image on the same thread. Then I said, I don't have logo. Now generate a logo uh, based on the context I provided above. Now it created a logo. If you don't like it, say generate 10 more. You can now ask it to generate a business card, uh, generate a, whatever you like, like social media cover. Everything it, it is going to do that. And other pro tips, uh, if you have the pro version, you can also use the Canva, a Canva plugin with your ChatGPT. So, like, let's say you can you can ask ChatGPT to create a social media post. You can ask ChatGPT to create a proposal template in Canva. ChatGPT is gonna create the proposal template in Canva and give you the link to the Canva directly. Amazing. So, I hope you everyone gonna try this out. So, I'll send hand over to John now. John, you can take over. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Derek. Uh, so next, we're going to talk about SEO. Uh, we all know how important SEO is, how important it is to have good SEO on your website so that you rank high on Google. Um, and as a nonprofit, the more eyes you have on your website, the more visibility you have, the more chances for donations you have. Uh, so now what we have here is SEO AI. Uh, what this does for you is it helps eliminate the stress and the uh, time in finding those targeted keywords to get your pages ranking on Google. Um, SEO AI offers SEO optimization on your current content as well as help bring you new content. Um, it uses AI data and an algorithm to search for those specific keywords that your donors use when looking for you. Um, SEO AI even will search your competitors' keywords to help you rank better. Uh, another great feature here is the ability to help you write long form content similar to ChatGPT. Um, it has a content builder in it that will uh, suggest keywords for you as you are writing the content to best optimize your blogs and your pages for Google rankings. Um, now, I will say SEO AI is a paid uh, service that has varying tiers based on what you need. Uh, if you're looking if you're looking just to uh, do something for free, I would suggest working with ChatGPT and using prompts similar to how Tarek just discussed. Um, you know, writing your content first, um, prompting uh, ChatGPT as an SEO writer, and then um, adding your content to ChatGPT for it to review, um, asking it to add any keywords based on your industries, and that will help you at least get started. And then up next, we're going to talk about Hotjar, uh, which is a really cool tool used for um, UX and heat mapping. Uh, this one is really cool because um, it allows people to see, it allows you to see how people are actually using and interacting your web with your website. It gives you insight into things like clicks, scroll, scrolls, um, movement, uh, so you can have a better understanding of how people use your website and better ways to enhance it. Uh, with Hotjar, you can access real-time recordings of user sessions and gather direct feedback through the site, um, through like suggestion boxes and surveys. Um, let's see. And the heat map kind of looks like this. Um, it's a really cool uh, diagram showing you exactly where people are uh, spending the most time clicking and looking at your websites. So Hotjar uses AI then to analyze the scrolls, the movements, the click data, engagement zones, and synthesizes all of that into an understandable visual data for you to look at. Um, and if you really want to understand how your people are uh, interacting with your website, Hotjar also offers uh, AI based on uh, AI based surveys that you can send out to better understand people, the people that do come to your website. And then up next, uh, we have Accessibility. 
Now, if there's one trend that's sweeping across the uh, digital landscape, it is definitely accessibility. Oops, sorry, one second. It's definitely accessibility. Um, you know, as the internet grows, the world is uh, as the internet grows, the world gets smaller, um, and everyone deserves the ability to view your website, um, no matter what disabilities they may have. So, what we've got here is accessibility or accessibility, excuse me, um, and it's an interactive accessibility tool that utilizes AI to automatically adjust your website for individuals with disabilities. It can uh, optimize websites for screen readers, uh, keyboard navigation. It in ensures accessibility across all fundraising initiatives. Um, accessibility AI scans and recognizes images, uh, providing alt text for the visually impaired. It also uh, extracts embedded text within images, enhancing the UX for people using screen readers. Um, this also uh, rescans your website daily, making sure that your site stays accessibility compliant and can help remedy any changes that could impact that score. Um, we're actually gonna hop over to the website um, and I'm going to show you a little demo of some of the things that it can do because it's pretty cool. So here's their website. Um, down here is where the accessibility menu would be. And I'm not going to go through everything because there's a lot of different features, but we'll go through a couple um, just to show you. They're pretty fun. Um, so things that accessibility can offer would include like vision impaired profiles, which usually means um, zooming in on things, um, also ADHD friendly profiles. Yes, these slides will be available afterwards. Um, so what an ADHD friendly profile does is just kind of highlights the specific area where your cursor is. So it allows users to be able to uh, stay focused and highlight exactly where they're looking. We've also got, um, like I said earlier, we've got keyboard navigation and uh, screen reader functionality. My computer's not set up for it right now, so um, I won't be clicking on those. But you uh, really can do a lot with accessibility. It's really cool. We've also got content scaling, which is essentially kind of like a Zoom. Um, readable font. So let's say you have a script font um, as your titles on your uh, website, and some people may not be able to read those you can actually uh, click readable font and then it will change the fonts to something more standardized. Um, also highlight titles, uh, highlight links so people know where they can actually click. There's a text magnifier and you can really start to get crazy with things. You can um, change the alignment of the text itself. Um, even getting into colors, there's color contrasts, including uh, light contrast, high contrast, saturations, monochrome, it really allows the users to come in here and make the website uh, usable for themselves and really kind of essentially break it visually without actually breaking it on the back end, which is great. Because then all we have to do is click off of all these tools and nothing on our site actually changed. We've also got other tools like muting all sounds, hiding images, um, stopping animations. Uh, we've even got changing your cursor to a larger black one or a larger white one. So really, like I said, it's kind of just got everything that you need. Um, now, this is a paid service, of course. Um, but this does show kind of the future of accessibility using AI. And as it grows and things like this grow, features like these will become more available for everyone. Uh, now, I did want to be able to give you guys some free options when it comes to accessibility. Um, while these don't offer the tools we just looked at in accessibility, um, there are these are um, accessibility checkers. So what you can do is you can add your URL to these sites, and it will give you a review of the areas of your website that are either um, that either are or are not accessibility compliant, and what you can do to fix it. Um, I did actually enter this into one of these into Wave. Let me find it and put Nike here um, into Wave. Just as an example, the site normally looks better than this. As it uh, scans it, it does kind of break it down a little bit. Um, but what you can do then is click on these tags and actually see um, what's going on. So it looks like Nike does have 11 errors and 136 alerts. So you can actually go to like an alert is the yellow and you can see what it is. Also gives you a description of heading levels. Um, all these types of things are things that would be used for people that are on screen readers and whatnot. 
Um, so it's a really cool tool that is completely free. Um, yeah, it won't actually fix it for yourself, but it does give you an awareness that then you can go in yourself and start making these updates. Uh, yeah, so um, like I said, these are great ways to further your website for those who may have any type of disability um, on the web. Um, and now I'm actually going to hand it back over to Tarek, and he is going to talk about some cool uh, page builders. So Tarek, do you want to take it away? Thank you, John. Now it's my turn again. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, some really good tool. Stick to the end of this webinar because I said I'm going to share some two tools that is absolutely free. You can try this and you're going to love that. I see people are talking about like TechSoup should um, provide some paid tool in cheap or like non-profit version. So I, I did my research to, there's a couple of tools out there, really good AI tools, but the problem with these tools are really expensive. So I can't actually talk about this. So I try to look for some alternative and uh, I found a couple of them and I'm really excited to share this with you as well. So uh, let me start sharing. So John talk about the accessibility. Accessibility is a big thing. I think every nonprofit should uh, use and apply and a hot jar thing like you can easily track what is happening on your website you can see why people are not donating what's happening why people are not sign up like signing up why you are getting uh, less conversion rate right so a website a main purpose of a website is to get leads get sales or whatever it, is. it has an objective behind the website so if your web website fail to do that that means you, it's not actually really good to see. So to see that, to test that, to analyze that, you can use Hotjar, uh, conversion rate optimization tools, UX tool, and uh, to give better accessibility option, you can use accessibility tools. So let me start with Elementor. Before I talk with Elementor, I just want to ask people, have anyone ever heard of name of Elementor or ever tried Elementor? Ooh. No, I, th I thought the answer is yes. Aditi raised hands, that means I assume the answer is yes. Okay, no. So Elementor is a WordPress. Uh, have anyone heard the name WordPress? I have, Terry. Amazing. Yes, we should, <laughs> isn't it? Because that's our job. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, wow, wow, wow. So you heard about WordPress? Yes, both. Uh, Cindy is saying, she heard about the uh, both amazing. So Elementor is a page builder, a plugin, an application that you can find or install in WordPress. WordPress is a CMS, content management system. And Elementor is the biggest uh, and one of the most powerful, I think number one, page builder and for WordPress. What recently Elementor does, they announced they're going to launch Elementor AI. Let me show you some features of Elementor AI. So here's a feature of Elementor AI is like, now with Elementor, you can, with some prompts, like if you know ChatGPT, how ChatGPT works is like you give some instruction, I mean text, that's the prompt. Same thing goes for this Elementor, like you go to Elementor, you give a prompt to create a website, create a container, create a layout, then uh, Elementor is going to do that for you within just a couple of click and that is amazing like uh, you're going to love that like you can now build your website within 20, uh, two minutes five minutes and uh, that is amazing like it's also cheap and uh, you can also use the free version they also have paid version um, I recommend to try this out Elementor like uh, you can see like you can generate image you can generate text you can generate a layout uh, landing pages variation it's really amazing i would recommend everyone to try this out uh now let's talk about the next big thing called 10 web what is 10 web uh le let me show you an example or let me show their website was 10 web as most of the people know wordpress 10 web is a website ai website builder tool that build that can build your website within two to five minutes and the website will be in WordPress. That means 
uh, TenoWeb can build your WordPress website in two to five minutes. What do you have to do? You have to go to TenoWeb.io uh, and you have to uh, give some instruction, like you have to uh, provide information. Like if I show you, you have to provide a little bit of information about you, about your um, who you are, some information. And what, what happens then, then it's going to generate a uh, specific website for you and uh, that you're going to love it. You can do customization, same thing like a WordPress website. Um, you can do customization, you can do edits, blah, 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 stuff like that. Yes, it's uh, it has pricing in both, but uh, um, I think that's uh, makes sense to try this out. You will have a uh, website created within two to five minutes if you want to try this out. That's a really good tool. You can also uh, check this out. Uh, can 10 web be used with Wix? Wix is a different platform. Wix has their ADI, I mean their new AI launch recently. So with the Wix AI, you can also build your website within a couple of minutes. I'm very excited. Will you, no, 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 no. Will it look at your current site and make it better? No. Uh, as far as I know, it, 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 will, it will not. It will just ask, a, it has like a couple of uh, questions that you have to answer. You uh, put your information, it's gonna, they have ready-made templates, a couple of them. So it's gonna fill out and create a website. If some, someone who want to play with, want to have a website, uh, they can try who don't have enough budget to do, uh, you can use TanWeb for that. Next thing, so these are for the WordPress, is AI Engine the most favorite tool for me. Like if you have a WordPress website, already a WordPress website, think about in this way. Uh, you want to generate content. Like you, you want to have a, you want to have a tool that can write blog post for you automatically. You don't have to go to ChatGPT, give a prompt, copy the blog post, go to your WordPress website, paste it, publish it. You don't have to do. With this plugin called AI Engine, you can now create blog post automatically inside of a WordPress website within just a couple of instructions. That is super powerful. The other big feature is the chatbot. Let me show you an example of the chatbot. Um, so if I go there down, you can see they have a chatbot feature. They have free version, paid version. Of course, the free version, uh, you can easily try this out, paid version involved with the chat GPT-4 version. Uh, but uh, if you want to have, let's say, a chatbot in your website, uh, you you want to you want your uh, you want to GPT to reply your visitor like reply question as a chatbot, you can try this uh, AI engine. So I recommend you to try this out AI engine. You can do like um, customize. You can fine tune. You can do content generation. You can do chatbot, AI playground, blah, 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 tons of things. You can do this plugin. So we talk about Elementor, the number one page builder. We talk about 10 web to build your website within a couple of minutes, WordPress website. We talk about the AI engine, a plugin you can install right away. They have a free version. They have a pro version. On the free version you can download from wordpress.org plugins slash AI engine. Or you can search on Google like WordPress. Um, uh, you can search on Google like AI Engine WordPress plugin. You will find this plugin. You will see a beautiful cat, robotic cat. And that means you are on the right track. So you have to install or you go to uh, your WordPress plugin area, add new plugin, add your uh, AI Engine plugin. And uh, you can have chatbot, you can have content, everything written down. I hope everyone's going to love that. And I recommend everyone, if you never tried this out, I would recommend to try this out. Uh, let's go to the next part. Chatbot. Okay, let me see. I talk about AI uh, engine, chatbot AI. So that's a really good tool. Uh, a chatbot. Think about it in this way. Uh, you need, uh, you want to have a uh, AI or chatbot in your website, and that's gonna reply a question reply uh, answer or any of question 24 by 7 without uh, having your involvement there's the same thing you can do with this chatbot ai the good thing here is there's tons of chat uh, chatbot out there ai chatbot out there but the good thing here with this chatbot is it offers free it has a non-profit version 
that's why i picked this bot to share this with you guys so you have to fill out a couple of information um that you have to reach out to them and you are going to get 170 dollar around 140 to 70 dollar plan for absolutely free as a non-profit you can use chatbot under special rules free of charge go try this out and uh, install it's really easy to install like if you want to see how it works you can open it up and you can see uh, start the chat you will have something similar to this in your website and um, i can ask any question and it will be replied through chat gpt um, it has tons of other things like um, the feature if you see uh, what it provides let me see if i do, see the pricing it provide um hey can you, you have five chatbot if you have five websites you, you can install five chatbot five thousand valid chats you have unlimited number of stories history into all kind of integration reporting security version history everything included in this package normally it was 170 dollar per month but you'll get it for zero bucks you have to just apply this form if you want to go to this uh, website you have to write chatbot.com slash nonprofit chatbot.com slash nonprofit so this is this chatbot is powered by gpt let me let me show you some features why you should use this um provide immediate support to your donors volunteers communities every step on the way uh, this chatbot like uh, has every feature you need let me go to their website and show you the feature So a complete chatbot uh, platform for a business. It has a little bit of technical thing, but it's it's not really hard. You can set it up like it it has really good features that you can use. Um, it's not like you don't have to do coding stuff. You, you can do use the visual stuff to create that, or you can hire someone to do that. Like it's really easy. And the good thing is like you have everything for free. And that's why I recommend to try this out. You can give a FAQ or give a little bit of information to a chatbot and the chatbot will read that information based on the data you provided. It can reply. So that's the next big thing that you can use. These are the integration uh, you can use with this chatbot. It has integration with Messenger, website, live chat, Slack. I mean, uh, this chatbot can also integrate with Messenger, Facebook Messenger. So that means it can also reply from Facebook. So let me go to the next tool. Thank you. Let me go to the next tool. Why are you going there? I'm just saying this is very, very good. There's so many um, AI options out there. So yeah, this is really just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the AI options. We just wanted to kind of give you a couple great options, but there's even more out there. It's it's really just an area, right, of technology that's exploding right now and only getting bigger. Yes, it's getting bigger. And I want everyone to apply, implement these tools for your website to get ahead with 2024. And Chatbot is one of the most priority tool. And uh, then we have GPT, then we have accessibility things you should in include in your website. Now let's talk about the chat spot. A chat spot, is there anything that can post directly to social media channels and tag business? Yes, there are some AI tools out there that can do that. Like uh, this is related to marketing, but uh, there's a couple of other AI tools that you can use. If you go to appsumo.com, there's a couple of AI tools you will find that uh, they raise funding and you can get a lifetime access, like very cheap. Uh, I can share this uh, with you, AppSumo. Uh, if I go to AppSumo, uh, AppSumo has uh, tons of tools that you can use. Keep in this mind, uh, check the reviews because these are new tools coming up in the market, but you, you, you'll find really good tools. Like uh, Answerly has like a chat widget. Uh, you can use your business customer support. I think there's a tools I see recently that can reply question um, on LinkedIn, social media platform. So there's tons of tools out there. I'll recommend to visit AppSumo. The problem with this, like uh, it has paid version and uh, the good thing is like you can get a lifetime deal.
Okay. Oh, okay. So I recommend you to go to AppSumo. Uh, you have to just type AppSumo.com. So let me go to the next slide. Um, Chat Spot AI. So let me go to the slide. Chat Spot AI by HubSpot. This is this is really amazing. Those uh, like uh, the problem with ChatGPT or any other um, text-based tool, NLP language model LLM, is um, you don't have the prompt to write for what you should write to get this result. That's a problem. With ChatSpot AI, you you can uh, overcome this problem easily. Like ChatSpot is powered by HubSpot and it's free that you can try this out. If you go to ChatSpot.com. You create an account, then you can see like um, this kind of dashboard. Now, if you want to have, if you have some specific question, if you have a specific thing, you can type your message. It's similar to GPT. It actually using the GPT, chat GPT. Uh, so you, you can try this out. You can ask your question and you can uh, do the conversation. If I show you a template, they have some prompt template that you can use, ready to use template. Here's a couple of questions like, uh, couple of things you, you can find, generate image. You can generate image for free. Uh, here's another thing. If you want to use DALI 3 for free, you can do this through bing.com. Bing, if you go to bing.com uh, or search Google bing.com DALI 3, then it will take you a page where you can uh, search and generate image. Uh, so if you want to generate free images, you can go to chat spot featured and you can click on generate image now you can generate an image of describe your image you just have to describe that and it will generate the image for free you can add your company information research you can do research you can research company elevator pitch then let me show you the favorite thing that i like like you can generate a vision uh, you generate a business mission statement and uh, you just have to fill out this information like this you have to provide this information that it's gonna create a uh, business mission statement. And um, if I go back, uh, you, you can also generate blog post. If you go to, uh, if you want to create a blog post for, let's say, for your website, for a specific thing, you, ca you can also create a blog post and uh, you have to provide, you have to fill out this information only, this dotted uh, underlined ones. You have to fill out this information, then it's gonna create a blog post. Very easy. Then we have a generate blog, we have generate email subject line. You can also do that. You can also do, if you want to do SEO stuff, if you want to do some research stuff, you can do this as well. You can generate blog title, you can do uh, related keywords, stuff like that. So uh, in CRM, if you're using HubSpot CRM, you can also use ChatSpot. Uh, to tell them like stuff to do so then we have reporting stuff you can also analyze the report if you have let's say stuff going on in your HubSpot account you can also uh, based on the activity based on the stuff you can also generate report um, images we talk about like uh, you can generate tons of style uh, uh, styled images seems like, like you can do almost images. anything in chat spot anything you want and the good thing here is like uh, it's for someone who don't have technical knowledge, who don't have enough knowledge in prompt, how to write better prompt, who just uh, who don't have enough time as well, who just want yep. to play and create something uh, really quickly. So I'll sure. recommend you to go to ChatSpot, very good tool powered by HubSpot. Try this out and you're going to love that. Okay, so I'll recommend you to go there. Like you can see tons of category that you are going to like. One of the things you can do is like competitor analysis. You can do the competitor analysis for free on ChatSpot. But if you want to do this on uh, ChatGPT, you need to have the pro version account. I mean, it needs to do the web accessibility, web version stuff. So that's pretty much it. We don't have enough time, actually. I'm sorry. Or I can talk about this more in depth. So I have to hand over this to John. Uh, All right. take over. I know there's just so much we can talk about when it comes to AI. Awesome. Thank you, Tarek. Um, one bonus I wanted to gloss over just super fast was donor search. It actually uses machine learning and over 800 data points um, to be able to uh, pinpoint when your donors are most likely to contribute next. So using your current data, it can target a strategy for donations. Uh, it gives you all 
the information in a vis visual way. So you can really dig in and understand that data better, um, including likelihood scores for donations. It's pretty cool. I recommend checking it out. So now kind of wrapping up as we wrap up today's discussion, just wanted to highlight how TAP Network can specifically assist your nonprofit. Uh, if you head over to TechSoup website, you can uh, check out our free assessment and services. And uh, before we get to the Q&A, Tarek and I just wanted to thank everyone for coming out today. Um, and I briefly wanted to go over a couple of the services TAP offers. Um, we offer web and app development services alongside strategy that works uh, best for your nonprofit, as well as SEO and content marketing services. Um, we're also a Platinum HubSpot partner. Um, we work extensively with HubSpot um, and we harness AI's power to re refine your inbound marketing strategies, increasing leads, revenues, brand authority, all that kind of stuff. Um, we do so much more, as you can see here. Um, if you want to learn anything more, uh, like I said on the previous slide, you can go to TechSoup's uh, website and go to services and then website services or uh, visit tapnetwork.com. Now, um, without further ado, uh, we can begin the QA. Feel um, so free to put any questions in the chat. We may not get to them all, but we'll answer what we can. I think a lot of the questions were answered along awesome. the way, which is always awesome. Yeah, lots of, yeah, lots of virtual collapse in the in the chat room, but we'll stay around for another minute to see if there's any questions. Sure, absolutely, no problem. Yeah, Kevin said you've answered all my questions. <laughs> Love to hear it. Thank you. People, it seems like people are loving. Eric was so helpful. Thank you, Cindy, Kevin, thank you. So there's a question um, from Teresa. She said, can you remind me, chat spot free? Yes, chat spot in beta mode, and you can try this out, it's free. Mm -hmm. yeah. and so go said, ahead, go ahead, free. If it's not available free, we have to do a petition, right? Isn't it? To get it free. We need this for, we need some AI tools for non-profits. It's really hard to find some really good tools for non-profit. Some tools are really expensive. So we need some alternatives. And I think TechSoup should take over on these couple of tools and talk about them. Ooh. Okay, so Alex said, any recommendations for plugin tools that will read web content in different languages? That's a great question. Okay, yes. Uh, you're talking about a translation. Google Translate. Translation. Uh, if you want to do it, ChatGPT is not very good at uh, translation because uh, it's native language in English and they use Google Translate. And you know what, what it, it is going to do. And uh, But there's some, uh, if you talk specifically to translate your website, uh, there's a really good tool out there, really good plugin out there that you can try. Amazing. It's not using, uh, it's not going to use a Google Translate. They have built-in Translate and you can try this out. Uh, let me see if I can find some. Uh, if you use WordPress, there's a tool out called G Translate. It's free yes. and you can translate it, I think, in more than 30 to 50 plus languages. Amazing. Try this out. It's free. Just install, uh, select which language you want to uh, be translated. That's it. You don't have to have any technical knowledge. You have the translate option in your website. Done. Right. G Translate. Let me see if I can send the link. G yeah. Trans well, you did that. You probably answered the second questions about um, so, uh, Frederica. I hope I said your name right. It's talking about African dialect and French dialect. So that for everybody. That was great. Sorry. Perfect. Okay. If there's no more questions... Um, thank you all for your time, John and Tarek. Oh, so amazing. Looking forward to the next webinar. I, I would love to uh, send the link, if possible, uh, for the plugin. Yeah, take the time. We have time. <laughs> so you can put a link in there, too, called Grant Translate. Oh, G no, G Translate. I just sent yes, uh, I just sent the link on chat. Uh, you can take a look on the G Translate plugin. So it's the direct plugin you can use to put right on your website. Perfect. Perfect. Thank All you right. so much for this today, Aretha. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great day.